Enjoy the day today, learn something today, but have some fun today because it will be a fun day. Here we go. All these stations work. They do, the musical chairs. It's a circuit interactive session. Uh, Students uh, from Halifax West will participate in eight sessions. Come on in, come in, welcome. Uh, interspersed with technology demonstrations and interactive displays and tutorials with the leading members of uh, the biggest IT companies in Canada. This one over here is actually a much more complicated circuit. The robots were really cool, how they like followed the line all along. And another just had sensors so that the robot could just move around and turn around when it went on a black line and then it just moved back once the sensor picked it up. Uh, we are going to show you today how to make your own film or video or clip uh, using video game graphics, uh, importing them into software, adding your own audio so that you can make your own video clips. They took what they, they're applying different technologies they've used for Halo into making movies. Whatever story you want to tell, basically acted out in the game. So what we're doing is following the arrows, stepping when they hit the stationary ones up top. Um, well, I already loved DDR before I even came here, so that was pretty fun. Each one of them, I'm pretty sure, would have had something that they found interesting from that day. Like, some were looking at the Dance Dance Revolution thing, some were looking at robotics, some were interested in Blackberry. Um, there's two sides we can look at. We can talk about the wireless technology aspect of the Blackberry and how it communicates with a provider. Or we can talk, jump in and talk about the Blackberry itself. Blackberry itself. Blackberry itself? Okay, cool. You can see the enthusiasm here with the, uh, the business community. And of course, obviously, the, uh, the skills, trades, and, and student population that really understands the importance of this industry and the value, I guess, to the local economy as well. This one over here is actually a much more complicated circuit. Uh, now, I've got a few frets built on here, so my talent isn't nearly as good as Premier McDonald, but I'm going to do my best to play a little tune on here and see if you recognize it. The Premier being here, the Minister of Education being here, I mean, it just reinforces the tremendous growth potential and the tremendous opportunity here. That, that Nova Scotia, I think, is really stepping up to lead in. Step both feet to the side. Oh my God! <laughs> if you can see, whenever you go around to any of these sessions, the students are totally into all the technology stuff that's going on. You too. Nice to meet you. Thanks, now. And how many times do they ever get the chance to talk to someone from one of the up 15 top companies in Canada? You've got X-Wave and Alliant, SAP, Keen. You've got CGI, which all have operations in Nova Scotia. Intel, we heard. Of course, IBM. It's the chief architect of Nortel is here too. Only one chair. That's like, awesome. It's a wide range of company, and these companies employ tens of thousands of people right across the country. It's not just the technology degrees that we hire for, it's, you know, different backgrounds. I like the, uh, just talking to the IT professionals and figuring out that they were like, just like me when they started out. You know, people think that you know, using technology was in a cubicle programming, but it's not people always programming. There's, you know, our office is multimedia. Everyone was asking questions, having a good time. How many jobs do you think that will be in demand? Well, they're looking at 96 kids. So I mean, to them, eight groups, 12 kids coming at them every eight minutes. There's a lot of impression you can make here. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but there's a declining enrollment of people in computer science in Canada, North Especially America. Especially girls. And I've talked to a bunch of them, and you know, they're really intrigued by what we do. And I think they all get it, that there's a lot more going on in this industry than people really realize. If you're young, you can really make a big difference very quickly. So you look at the people who work in our office, none of them program per se, but their backgrounds are in computer science or community college programming, that sort of stuff. It's a path, right? But the important things that we need to do is to make sure that we have lots of what we need the most, and that's our talented people. It's pretty exciting. So I'm here to encourage you, when you think about your choices, to really consider technology. It's a lot of fun. It's fun? Yeah, it is fun, absolutely. I talked to Doug Cooper, the manager of Intel for Canada. I talked to Peter Carbone, head architect of Nortel. He was telling us they hire a thousand different people from across Canada alone every year. Well, Julia Elbridge, she's the CEO for Chipworks, and she told me all about what they do. Well, just telling stories about my career and, and, and others that I've 
known and, and the fun stuff that we do at Chipworks. And we have a lot of fun. We're lucky. Um, and I want other people to be part of that. Thanks, guys. It is important to me personally. It's certainly important to my company. It's important to the region from which we operate. And, uh, and I think all of my colleagues would, at, on the board would say uh, very much the same thing. It's, on the news later, people will probably be thinking, geez, this is a, definitely a possibility for me. Well, awareness is a huge part of that. Uh, our students have to have a better appreciation. Not only our students, I might add. Our parents, uh, you know, very important in this equation. Our, our guidance counselors, our teachers, our principals. Uh, we all have to be on the same page. We're involved in career planning, so if we can help these students during their grade 10, 11, 12 years look at options that are out there that are real options and include that in the career planning component of, of high schools, then these students do understand that they are real jobs. And I've talked with the, some of your folks. Uh, I know you're going beyond Halifax West. We have a very rural province. We have a lot of students out there who may not have the opportunities or the awareness or the accessibility. So I think we need to take the programs and the information to them so they're well aware of uh, opportunities. We've been working on a strategy in the last three years to bring high paying jobs to Nova Scotia. And uh, we realized three years ago that we have an opportunity in IT. Everything fits. We've got the talent here. We've got the infrastructure here. We've got a reasonable cost of business. We are already leading in this area in the country. ITAC would not be here today if we weren't. This is the first time they've met as a board outside of Ontario. And they're here because they're hearing the buzz in Nova Scotia. So let's, let's keep it going. So how'd everybody do? Pretty good? Awesome. I'm doing good. It was a lot of fun, yep. Was it a lot of fun? Yeah, it was. I enjoyed myself. It was. I enjoyed it. This really is the next step, folks. This, this is where you want to go and how you're going to get there. We are 95 or 100 of us. We're very lucky. I would definitely do it again if I had the opportunity. If I see the companies out there and what they're looking for, you really, you guys have it. We're going to see you guys leading in the next 10 to 15 years. In 15 years, you'll all be professionals and CEOs. And every, like the other people, the people here you're talking to today, you'll, you'll be doing these speeches to students. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, well, they're going to see that IT is not just a, a nerd convention, right? There's a bunch of us normal kids running around. It doesn't You don't have to be like a computer whiz or anything just to be able to go in the IT field. There's lots of different things you can do in the IT field, and it doesn't have to be just computers. It can be television. It can be working with Blackberries. It can be working with people, programming. They can invent anything, whatever they dream, whatever they think of, they can find a way to get there using IT, using the skills and the applications and the problem-solving abilities of IT. Well, you know, it's up to them. The kids are going to make their own path. They're their own captain. These are skills that can lift them, make them do their job better, empower them, and increase their options. And that's, that's the opportunity of IT. We're just making sure that they're aware. It's, uh, if I see the kids leave today uh, with a little uh, uh, extra bit of excitement, then uh, it's a success. myself going into computer programming. I don't I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but neither they said neither the day and they look where they are now. Yeah, learning that I'll be alright. <laughs> But IT looks pretty promising for the future. 